Hey, what's good everybody? And welcome to week five of Australian Survivor Power Rankings. I'm back with Jacob. And what a week though. Like I have many opinions. Do you? I am an opinion <laughs> slot machine right now. <laughs> that makes no sense. But um, I think, yeah. So we'll start with going over who went. <laughs> Do you want to try that again? Opinion <laughs> slot machine. I am an opinion slot machine. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh no, it's not going to be one of these times, is it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to Australian Survivor Power Rankings. <laughs> I have lots of thoughts and opinions. Do you? I am going <laughs> to... And I have lots of thoughts on this week. Do you? Oh my god, my god, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this today. I can't stop thinking of an opinion slot machine. Okay, no, just do it. Go, go, go. Hey, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to Australian Survivor Power Rankings. We're at week five. I'm back with Jacob. And I have lots of thoughts and opinions on the last three episodes. Do you? Well, if you have lots of opinions, I am your opinion minion. Because <laughs> as do I. <laughs> Previously on Australian Survivor Power Rankings. Damn it. The topic of the week is it. <laughs> and Craig definitely has it. In the arms. You can see her going far, but based on her current situation, it would be like silly to yeah. put her any higher. Yeah. In the arms. All right, so let's start with um, people who left. So Sunday. <sighs> the big idol play, Craig. Yeah. Craig gone shocked. I was shocked. Where did we? I had Because really I, I really liked Craig and I really liked Phoebe. So it was a bit of a hard episode for me because. Yeah. I, I like I was supposed to be mad at Phoebe, but I wasn't. I just thought she played it so well. Like, me too. She was such a good game player. I'm so sad she's gone. Her and Christy, such good, such good chemistry in that episode working together. Yeah. Cra oh, it had to be Craig. Yeah. Um, it was a good move to get rid of Craig. Yep. It was a good move to get rid of Craig, but. He handled it well. Yeah, it was gracious. I feel like as soon as Craig saw that idol come out, he knew that he, he knew. was going. Well, so, so did Sue, apparently. She's like, oh, it's obviously me. And I was like, is it Sue? Monday night? Monday night, was no the, one left. Monday night was that bullshit. Oh like, gosh. I'm sorry, but what is happening here? I think that that did nothing. It did nothing. It didn't add anything useful. The first one, at least it was like, when they when Connor and... Who was the other one? Nick. Connor and Nick got switched. At least that was something big yeah. and new. Yeah. No one saw it coming. This, it's like, this isn't going to be a like weekly thing, is it? That someone's yeah. just going to get switched every week. People are pissed off as well. People are so mad. They're blaming that for Phoebe's, which if we go to the next night, <laughs> Phoebe left. I The reason why I was so mad on Monday is because... <laughs> When Brooke was talking about who she was going to take, she was about to take Phoebe, but she was like, oh, because of all the strategy stuff that I've heard, you're playing the game really well, so I'm going to take Sue. Well, Jonathan kept asking those pointed questions about, oh, so you've been voted out twice, yet you're still here. Shit like that. Like, what? Yeah. It's so biased. Like, it's, he's supposed to be unbiased, but I really didn't like that. I'm sure it would have come up anyway, but it looks it looks so bad for him. It was him. forced. Especially yeah. this is his first season as host. But then, yeah, next night, Phoebe left awesome social play by Christy she picked up like come on Phoebe was running it and all it took was that Kate and Christy conversation maybe Kate is better than she seems as well because someone one of those two would have had to swing I have Connor. to I have to give Kate credit in that episode yeah because I feel she like was a major orchestrator in that yeah I can see why Kate took Christy but I can't see why Connor would want to take Christy I think Connor we'll get to Connor won't we but yeah. not a good player sorry I think they, they screwed that one up. I think it would have been better to take Phoebe to the merge than Christy. I mean, Christy's a vote. She won't get targeted, but we'll get to that in the end. Yes, we but will. like, any other thoughts on the episode? I think Monday? we should leave it. Happy birthday, Cat! It's oh, Kat's yes. birthday Happy at the birthday, very moment Kat. that we're filming this. Yes, <laughs> we miss you dearly. I'm the, we miss talking about Literally, you. Literally, all my favorites go. Cat went, Phoebe went. I'm scared to say who my favorite is now because I'm worried that they're well, gonna go. If Cat was your favorite, then Cat is endorsing Christy. Christy is her Avenger, as she likes to say. So, but don't go for Christy because I want Christy to stay. So let's get stuck into the power rankings. I went first last week, so you can go first. Yes. Okay. This one might be a little bit controversial, but 13, I'm going to start with Nick. My opinion for putting Nick here is if Nick makes it to the end, he will not win. And that is why I'm putting him at number 13. Mm. I can't think of anyone else 
that if they make it to the end, they have zero chance of winning. So you're thinking long term. I'm thinking well, we're going into a merge. It's time to think long term, I think. Yeah. And, you know, it seemed to me like he was integrating really well. He came back and he did the exact same thing he did to Jenna, to Sue. Mm. And it just shows people that he's petty, he's... Uh, his mm. what do you call it hot headed is that vengeful. the right term Ven- like vengeful and it's just it's it was just so it, extra how do I yeah extra I don't know how to describe it it's just so he's so off putting as a as a character and then as a, maybe as an alliance member as well because everyone else kind of was kind of sitting there and to me it looked like they were like shut up Nick like get over it kind of yeah. thing especially Jenna Jenna must just be like oh my god is he seriously doing this all over again it's like yeah. he repeated his speech to her to Sue I don't know I just think he's coming across as petty now and I think People will be thinking he's like a game bot kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, so I'm putting Nick at 13 because he's the only person there that will not win. Sorry, Nick. He'll pro- he could come second or third, but he I see you mean. Yeah. All right. So number 13, I have Kate. Okay. Because I I have to say last week I I was really impressed with Kate. Mm-hmm. She's really like come out as a strategic player because I remember I gave her shit at the first couple of weeks because she wasn't doing anything. Me too. I gave her, I gave her more than shit. But like, I feel she's really like shown herself. Yeah. Which is bad for her at the moment going to the merge. I think she's in a bad position. Do you know what? I reckon she is super strategic. We just don't see much of it. But just because she's so bland and boring, do you not think? I think the edit makes her look like yeah. that. Yeah. If she is a huge strategist, like you're saying, mm. they don't show it much, do they? Well, okay. Every person I put last has not gone. So <laughs> maybe that's the sign oh, that she's gonna stay. Because really? yeah. I had flick General Louise, General <laughs> Louise. So um, so much General Louise. We were so hopeful that she would leave. But um, yeah, I think in terms of numbers, Kate's at like a bit of an odd point because yeah. she's good at challenges. Yeah, she was literally like like carrying the vow at the end there. That goes from asset to liability. Now I remember. Yeah. So like now she's gonna be targeted by the Sinapu. Yeah. But um, I, I hope she stays. I really think... I want to see more because I feel like she's doing more than what we're seeing. Yeah. So I feel like she has a lot of potential, but I think she's at more of a risk of going than Connor or Christy. Mm. That's what I'm feeling. 12. I've got Kylie. Mm-hmm. Um, just because she has just shown how much everyone dislikes her and how bad of a player she is, really. That was just the most awkward scene ever that was when she so came and awkward. asked and the girls uh, on the beach. Jenna and Flick for a... Girls Alliance, and it was just so <laughs> awkward to watch. It was great. I loved it. I love Flick's reaction. Flick's re- it, what did Jenna say? Are you going to disclose the information? Like, or what did she say? You're going to like keep it? Like, are you going to? Uh, I might. It was that, wasn't it? Like, <laughs> when, and when Kylie walked off, Flick was like, and I was like, <laughs> Flick, I agree. She was very awkward as well with that whole sleeping situation. You're in a social game, and you literally just decided to yourself that you're just going to create social drama. Just because because mm. she was fe- oh, I always just cop it and sleep there I'm like then keep copying it keep sleeping there you're on the outs you don't do anything to put you like it seemed to me like if they went to tribal Kylie was leaving and not Jenna mm. Louise I was giving that vibe because they well. kept saying Kylie's the one on the outs Kylie's the one on the outs so I was like hold on Jenna's the one on the outs isn't she but yeah it seems that Jenna was even more in than Kylie and that just I think sh- the merge will not do Kylie any good like yeah it kind of there could be like another kind of cat situation here when cat switched tribes and wasn't in any alliance everyone just said let's get rid of her kind of thing not let's use her let but I don't reckon Kylie's strategic enough like cat was like probably too strategic so you reckon Kylie could be dragged she could be if people can be bothered dealing with her and don't be surprised though if she also goes on an immunity run like she might emerge as this big challenge threat yeah because she is it'd be interesting if she did but because at least it'd be like kind of a i don't know side of the game had so she had so much potential and just side note this is a hard list to do this is so when you're doing a list about a merge that you've seen nothing of yet so this is a very hard one number 12 i have connor so similar reasons to kate but i put him above kate because i think he's less of a target Yep, fair enough. Because if you're in Sinapu and you're going to emerge, so you don't really have to align with Sinapu anymore, you'd probably target the people who you think are like strengths. Mm-hmm. I don't think they see Connor as a, like as a threat. I think he's like with Christy and they're just kind of like below the radar. I'm like, I don't know. I kind of want him to do well now. I think this was an absolutely awful week in terms of gameplay for Connor. He made some yeah. blunders. He is the reason Craig left. Let's not. We have to just talk about that. 
why did he think it was a good idea to tell the Minority Alliance exactly what's going on? There's a reason. I tell the truth. Yeah. There's an episode of American Survivor where Jeff literally says to everyone, "There's a reason people blindside others. It's not because it's fun. It's because it's effective." You don't tell the person they're going home ever. That's like the n- number one rule. You tell them yeah. unless you're in a in a merge situation where they're going to the jury and this could backfire on you. When you know there's a game of idols out there and things like that, you never tell anyone they're going home. It never works and it didn't work again. Yeah. It never ever works. He's at risk of going if they're not super focused on getting out the strongest people. Yeah. Number 11, same as yours, Christy. Yeah, Christy. I put Christy at number 11 because out of the Vivao people going into the merge, I think Christy's in the most danger. Mm-hmm. Just because she seems, it, she seems very hard to work with. Um, her only thing is that yeah. she has a she has a way in, and it's oh, it's actually making me reconsider my list. I don't know. I feel like Christy and Connor could have a way in because don't forget they have former ties. That's a good with point. With people from that tribe, um, I think Christy has more chance than Connor though do at you? getting back with the thing because Sanaku. I don't think they care about Connor. I don't think Connor cares about them. Yeah. But I think Aganoa might go with Christy, but they didn't really like Christy, did they? Exactly. But so but she's the, she's I can't there. see Christy her being good at challenge. I can't see her winning any immunities and kind of keeping herself that way. Hmm. I can't see. It. I just can't see Christy going and looking for idols, things like that. But she had a good week. She had a good week in terms of the fact that she's still there, and I cannot believe she's still there. I'm going for Christy at this point as well. I have to go. Really? I have to go for who cat posts about and tells people to go for and it's Christy I well, really I really feel like she's turned into Kat in terms of an underdog kind of thing and I did not see her staying this long go Christy go Christy cool. 10 okay Kate kind of leads into what I was saying yeah Kate out of the three has the least options but seems like someone that's there as a number if people need it she's a good player she's a I was literally just about to say she's a sheep will she win no no, she won't. You don't reckon? No, she's just she doesn't have it. She kind of got it this week. What are you talking? What are you get on me for? You've got literally got her at thirteen, and you have more hopes for her than I do. So number ten, I had Kylie. Similar reasons to what you had. I've got her lowest out of the old Sanaku tribe. So I think I even put her lower than General Louise, which is really saying something. Considering I put General Louise last for the last two weeks in a row. <laughs> doing that because I wait for your sentence to finish. Nine, Connor. I'm putting Connor above Kate and Christy because he has the wiggle room with the old uh, Sanapus, if it's still there. Only thing is, I feel like one of them, I'll get to it later, but I think one of those original Alliance members is going to plan something big. And I feel they might involve Connor. Yes, I think we're thinking of the same person. We'll get to, we'll get, we'll get to him. Her. <laughs> <laughs> So it's kind of like, oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, we're not talking about the same person. Completely different page, different book. So number nine, I had Jenna Louise. So Jenna Louise has been last two weeks in a row, but she's number nine now and she's above Kylie because I think they hate Kylie more than they hate Jenna. And this merge is the best thing that could happen to Jenna, like, possible. The thing I find hilarious is that when they chose Jenna, they picked Jenna because they were like, she'll be our easy vote off because Nick was feeling really vengeful. It's just kind of funny that him picking Jenna is actually what has saved Jenna because she probably That's wouldn't so have made great. it to the merge, yeah. would it? Yeah. Would she? And then kind of the same with picking Sue. So yeah. obviously decided they're going to take Sue, kind of saved her from a tribal, which she could have been seen as a threat at. I don't know. Number eight, Sue. Interesting. Do you have a higher? Way higher. Hmm. Well, last It is week, a merge. Yeah, last week I had her at number seven. She's She's there. Hmm. I don't know. No about zone her. for you. If you if you've just been merged, right, and you're in a tribe with highly physical people, and you get another tribe merging into yours with like a couple of physical people, and you have Sue, are you going to take out Sue, or are you going to take out the people who are physical threats in challenges? But are you saying Sue's not a threat then? Not in challenges. But it's not just about the challenges. And she's a strategic threat, yes, but yeah. I don't think they're going to worry about I think that she yet. she is as well, and that's why I've put her halfway, because I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. That's why I've put her halfway. I don't know. I literally, Sue is just a question mark for me. Like, I would not be surprised if she won this game, and I would not be surprised if she was out on Sunday. She's volatile, her That's position. why I'm putting her halfway through, but I like Sue. Me too. I really like Sue. All right, so number eight, I had Nick. Um... He's above Kylie and Jenna Louise, but he's still in trouble because, Hell yeah. because 
Actually, I probably put him too high now that I think about it. Because, I didn't last remember. Because the old vows will go with Sue and Jenna. Sue and Jenna don't like Nick. Nick probably doesn't want to go with Kate and Connor. So what are Nick's like options? There is a massive Nick blindside being built up here. That's what I feel. Well, actually, I, prefer, mm, I feel like I should have put him lower. Number seven, <laughs> Jenna Lloyd. Is that the highest you put her? Yes, surely. Because for God's sake, I've tried to get her off as soon as I could every other way. <laughs> No one benefits from the merge more than Jenna Louise does. Mm. Agreed? Yes. Options, so many options. The weirdest thing happened this week. I found myself warming to Jenna Louise. Surely not. <laughs> I found myself warming to the person that I've previously referred to as the bane of my existence. I don't think she was going next. If they lost, mm. I don't think she was would going. Have been Kylie. I think it would have been Kylie. Mm. I even think. You know, something could have been happening with the guys there. I don't mm -hmm. know. So, number seven, I had Matt. So, this week... Let's combine, because I have Matt at six. So, let's combine okay. the chats. I... I don't know. I have lots to think about with Matt this week, because I really like Brooke. Mm -hmm. And he said something to Brooke, which is like... Oh, my God, Matt, you're a creep. That was very, very I feel that's also the editing. Yes. So they're trying to make him look like a bit of a villain. A bit of a sleaze. Yeah, but like the fact that he said that, I was like, oh no, you shouldn't have said that. What was that. his exact words? It was awful. It's like, like you've oh, kind of had a thing for everyone here. Yeah, it's like, like you like had that. a thing for everyone. Now you're gunning for Lee. Oh. But I think it could be Matt leading some kind of charge against against who? something against the girls against Nick. We've seen tensions there. With the chicken. I just I just think Matt could if there's anyone that's going to lead lead the charge for a big blindside. I think it'll be Matt orchestrating it, and that's why I've kind of put him up there because he has it. But that comment, Matt, come on, no, just don't, just don't talk to women like that. that was so Life gross. advice. Number six, I had Sam. Let's combine. So I got Sam number five. Okay, so I put Sam as six. I had him really high the last few weeks. Put him down because it's moving to more physical. He's a physical threat. The other people know he's a physical threat. And when you get to individual immunity challenges, you want to take out people who yeah. are a physical threat. And so I between him and Lee, mm -hmm. he's more of a target than Lee. I was going to say the same thing. If they're going to take, if the move is to take out someone big and physical, it'll be Sam before it'll be Lee. Yeah. I'll see Lee as more of an asset, I think. It's better to get rid of Sam than to get rid of Lee from an underdog perspective. <clears> like, <throat> if you have less numbers and you're gunning for someone, you gun for Sam because then you split up that alliance. So... My number five is L. She is a physical threat, but I think they're more looking at the guys as physical threats at the moment. So I think she's good for this week, unless there's a, like a blind side or some shit trying to get rid of her, but I don't know why that would happen when there's other people that they want to get rid if of If there's going to be a blind side to an, Ag to an Aganoa Sanapu person, it'll be Lee. It's not going to be L. Number four. Now, there's a little switch here, because I've always had Brooke at four, Flick at three this week. Number four. Flick. Interesting. And that is just based off the fact that Brooke is, in my head, ahead of Flick. Can I just chime? I also have Flick as four. You got Flick as four? Yeah. But God, she is just, she's having a, she's having a great game, isn't she? She didn't get much screen time. It, no one did. There's nothing really nothing to from, show. Yeah, from she, she had some really funny moments. And if you, if you didn't love Flick already, surely you do now. I think she's you? she's getting more fans. I'm sick of interacting with people who dislike her. I, I like I her she's more. she's hilarious. I can see her going so far. I can see this L Lee Flick Brook thing just working. I, I've just got this just a vibe. That's why I've had the, my top four yet again has not wavered in terms of who's in it. With what you said before about Matt orchestrating a flip though, that might happen against Flick. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. But like I said last week, the fact that a huge move would involve getting rid of Flick justifies her she being so far on my list. Yeah. Three, Brooke. Cool. All right. She was chosen by her tribe to go listen into that tribal council. She's respected. She didn't take shit from Matt. She's, She's respected. Not taking him. shit. And then he kind of sooked and ran off. She's got... She got people wrapped around her finger the way she was just laying there you on know, the beach. I was like, slay girl, slay. I love that I have literally no idea who's going to win this. I love that. And I think there are 12 out of 13 people that could win. Who's the 13th? Nick. Nick. Nick's not winning. What? Number three. Oh my god, he's been. The king has been dethroned. Number three, Lee. Wow. He's Lee. been number one every single episode that we've done of this for me. Mm -hmm. I've moved him down to three. As you said before, when it gets to individual, when you're playing as an individual, you want to get rid of the physical threats because you don't want them to win immunity. 
So it's true. But he just seems so nice. Like I just can't imagine at this point seven people. But the fact that he is so nice I is know, bad as well. I know, I know, I know. I don't know. My number two is Lee. So let's yeah. let's combine. I think he's definitely safe this week. But well, actually, I don't know. I hate making predictions like that because literally so much changes after the second episode. At least he's not number two. Because number two is your cursed position. Whoever's in he number had Craig, two. Craig, he had Andrew, and Andrew. Lee is very good at this game, and that makes him now a threat rather than an asset. Yep. And I don't think people are going to... It's There's so much time to do that stuff. I think right now, what we're going to see is people solidifying alliances come and merge. Yep. <clears throat> Later down the line, it becomes... No, we need to take him out because he's going to win. We need to take Sue out because she's going to win. Blah, blah, blah. Right now, I think this week, an alliance, an alliance will be solidified. So, number two, I had Sue. Sue's moved up. Two, two. She is a threat for strategy oh, so and divided. alliance. But why would you focus on getting out at Sue when you have so many other people to focus on? Yeah. I think she's just kind of blend. But like I said, if this alliance comes together... Whoever's in it, mainly the Sanapus. Even if she's not in the majority. <laughs> Sanapus? Even if she's not in the majority, why would you take out Sue as opposed to taking out Kate? Yeah, but I don't know. I, I literally don't know about Sue. I just don't know. One is L yet again, because I'm stubborn. She, we, we didn't see her this week, but this, it's coming. Okay, people, I'm promising you. L is here to play and she will be playing. And you will not be disappointed by L. Okay. You have a lot of faith in L. L is winning this game. That's a big call. L is winning this game. Okay. L has been number one. I'm not like Michael. I don't just drop my number one away like he did to Lee. I dropped it to three. Yeah. Well, I've dropped L nowhere. I believe in L. I'm not going for her, but she's she's going to win this what game. What if L goes next episode? She ain't going nowhere. L was winning this game. I did see a bit of her and Lee flirting, though, in the background. Mm, I'm observant AF. And, like, didn't he give her, like, a piece of pork? Yes. Oh, maybe it was in the background. Yes, he did. Uh, yeah. He porked her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently that's happening. Exactly. We've heard rumours. We've heard rumours. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pinion slot machine. <laughs> Well, I'm going to keep this here for this episode <laughs> because there are issues. Alright, so, I guess this is staying there. Uh, number one, Brooke. <laughs> I've been wanting to say that from the start and I'm saying it now. I'm calling it Brooke number one. Yep, fair, 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 fair. Because Tribe volunteered her to do the... That's big, isn't it? For that's some a reason, huge that was just thing. so big, yeah. The fact that they said, okay, yeah, Brooke can do it. <clears throat> we trust Brooke. I wish we saw the conversation of who would go. That's a good point, yeah. But they wanted to keep it a surprise that that was happening. Yeah. But um, I think Brooke is in a fantastic position. Yeah, Because if you want to make a big move against Sinapu, you take out Flick, you might take out Sam. Why would you take out Brooke? No, she, she's not gone nowhere. Brooke hasn't made any enemies, apart from Matt, for some <laughs> reason. Brooke is my new fave, which I'm scared to say because every time I say someone's my favourite, they go... CC cat BCC Phoebe preview for next week will the curse of Michael's favorite occur again as in Brooke go as in Brooke go surely not or will the curse of Michael's number two occur again as in Sue, as in go. Sue goes we hope not or will the curse of the last person not going anywhere <laughs> so Kate will not go anywhere Mate, write Kate's name on that million dollar check and will my bold predictions of L Rain true. I mean, there's, this time next week, there's only going to be 10 people left in this game. Yeah. <laughs> we, we think it's it going to get so much harder. Done and dusted. So thank you for watching this episode of Australian Survivor Power Rankings. And we will see you next week for another episode. Until then, make sure you subscribe to get the next episode. Thank you for watching. The views, though, went crazy. And crazy. thank you for liking. And we'll see you soon. Bye. I am an opinion <laughs> slot machine right now. <laughs>